So we're going to take a uh, covered bridge tour today on the FJR. The first bridge I'm visiting is the Poland Bridge, located in Cambridge, Vermont. Notice I'm going to drive through this bridge and we're going to keep right on going because there's nothing much else to do with this bridge other than drive through it. Uh, On to the next bridge, which is up in uh, Waterville, Vermont, which is about 10 miles or so up the road. We have by magic transitioned to Waterville, 10 miles away, and now we're at the Village Bridge. This is a nice little bridge, and uh, we're going to make a stop here. Now this bridge is located a, across the north branch of the Lamar River, and there's a it's a pretty nice place to uh, hang out on the rocks here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you on a tour of that brief tour. Once I get my ducks in a row, that is. So we're going to go down the river a bit and check out the bedrock under this bridge. This bridge has been uh, augmented with steel beams, as you can see. So we're going to take a quick run around up this ledge here. North Bridge Shit. of the Lamar River. Over That's right. Here. That's right. Very lovely spot. And uh, cool in the summer. But today it's about 40 degrees. So it's not so cool. It's not so nice. It's kind of cool. Actually, too cool. Um, standing around. Not bad on the bike, but standing around it might be a little cool. It's kind of a little pool there for perhaps a brown trout or two. That's I already said that. <laughs> well, now we're getting back on the bike after a little delay. And we are on to the next um, bridge. I'm talking about the fact that I just noticed there's a farm up on the hill that uses this bridge to, to access it. I hadn't noticed that farm before. So now we're going to jump down to Jeffersonville again 
and visit the Brewster River Bridge. <clears throat> this is a popular spot. It's right over the gorge here. It's also called the uh, um, Mill Bridge, I think. Now the road that I'm on after I pass through it is very interesting, as you're going to find out. The town of Cambridge has done some great work on this road. Pretty good drainage on both sides. But this is like many roads in Vermont. It's crushed gravel, all you get. Now the reason I'm leaving this segment in, instead of cutting to the next bridge, is that um, this what's, what's going to happen in about five minutes here. In so far as Vermont scenery goes, and that is what we're really we're really interested in right now. Vermont scenery. We're not so much interested in motorcycles, although that's what we're using to get there. So this hill climbs into a great meadow, a great green meadow. And the road gets smaller and smaller. Years ago, I thought this road came out on the main highway more directly than it does now. And I can't understand what happened. But right now, this road goes into a cow path, barely passable by an FJR. One lane cow path. Now, these people I'm going to encounter right here are not, not particularly pleased with me, seeing me. I don't know what their problem is. Maybe they're the landowners. But this apparently is a public road, so too bad for them. Now, Robert Frost would have enjoyed this path, um, I do believe. It's a wooded path. I believe you had a poem concerning this. Yeah. So I call it the cow path. There are stone walls on both sides. And we're just motoring along here in about second year. Uh, trying not to fall down because it's ruddy and it's muddy and so I'm letting the bike just steer wherever it wants to go but it's very pretty in here and apparently cow pastures on both sides so they probably use this as a cow, pa a cow path
it's two o'clock in the afternoon when I'm do, when I'm here, so it's uh, we're, we're basically pointed south. No one knew the FJI was such a great uh, enduro bike with uh, Michelin Road Pilot 3s or Pilot Road 3s tires. But it just seemed to go. I think its secret is it doesn't, it has so much torque it doesn't need to slip. Doesn't need to spin the tire to keep going. The first time I found this path, this this spring, I didn't know for sure we were ever going to get out. I was in the Honda CRV. But it does end eventually. It ends right here, in fact. Okay, so that, now we're headed to another uh, bridge, but this bridge is steel. This is a suspension bridge over the Lamar River that was built to uh, allow people on the long trail to get across the river. So I'm going to pay a quick, pay a quick visit to the river to show you that bridge and then we're going to be heading back home That car belongs to a fisherman we're going to see in a minute. Must have gone by the trail. There's the trail. There's a little path down to the river's edge. There are my gloves. Aren't they nice? There's that fisherman down there casting in the middle of that pool. There's the downstream side. And that's the upstream. So this is where the long trail crosses the uh, the Mall River. I don't think that's highway up there. 
opens up that door right there. So, fishing, fly fishing. Late, late October fly fishing. Nice, nice conditions like this. Lovely spot here. Nice, nice engineering here for the structure. Glad you found it. <laughs>